Hey, how's it going? It's Nick with Daisy Opals. And today we're gonna be taking a look at synthetic opal versus real opal. Uh, I have some synthetic opal and I have a real piece of opal that looks very similar. We're gonna take a look at both of them. And we're also gonna compare this synthetic opal side by side with uh, all the different types of opal from Ethiopia, Brazil, and Australia. Stop talking. Hey, how's it going? This is narrator Nick. This is uh, Ethiopian opal. You can tell it has kind of the yellowish body tone. It has pattern, but usually it, not depth. The pattern kind of sticks to the outside. Ethiopian opal from the Wela region can absorb water. It's pretty interesting. It becomes transparent after about five or six minutes in water. You can see that white fog disappearing. That's just it becoming transparent. There you can see all the way to the sand in the back. Pretty cool. You can see before it was white. My little, oh, it moved, cool. That was cool. So yeah, this is Australian opal. You can see it has a little more pattern and depth. It's, it's like more intricate. That's a black opal. It's got the black potch on the bottom, which uh, really drives up the contrast of the color. More Australian opal, you know? That's Australian. I don't know if I can keep like narrating. I mean, you know, this is Australian. Take a look. Here's here's Brazilian, right there on the left. It's kind of like Ethiopian, but the pattern is always way better. Kind of like fireworks. The body tone is white, like a porcelain white. And it's much tougher. It's much resilient than all the other types of opals. For is whatever it, reason. Is it Nick? Oh, is it is it much resilient? Anyway, that, there's Ethiopian okay. opal. And uh, I'll put that Brazilian opal next to it because they're kind of similar until you see them next to each other. Good job. Good job there narrating. And uh, the color play on this Brazilian is also just way cooler than the Ethiopian. That's Boulder opal. Quick shout out to Boulder opal. It's when opal forms between the uh, cracks in a rock. There we go. Those are the types of opal. Now we're going to take a look at the um, the synthetic opal ring that I got from Etsy. Comes in this nice little box, and there it is. Honestly, it's pretty damn good looking. Looks a lot like Brazilian opal to me. So uh, I mean, I don't want to influence you too much here. You know, make your own opinions. I personally think it looks good. Not as good as, as uh, real opal, but I mean, this was $30 and I would say that's a, a decent deal. You know, it's, it's the opal I can't complain. It's synthetic, but it, it does the job. It looks fine. This is the Brazilian opal that I'm going to compare it to. Right off the bat, you can kind of see it's, it's brighter and it has a less predictable pattern. This pattern is kind of holographic looking compared to the, the confetti flakes look of the other one. And there they are side by side, finally. I'll just let you look at this. I won't say anything. I'm gonna let you look at this for a second. I'm not gonna say anything. One big giveaway for synthetic opal is the consistency of the pattern. Like it's always the same, you know, density of flakes in every given area of the opal. And, and on a real opal, you'll see things like broad flashes. Like in this piece of Brazilian, you can see there's a, a bit of a broad flash in the center. It's more organic looking. It's more unpredictable. There we go, there's a, there's a ring that I made, a real opal ring compared to a synthetic opal. Again, that ring is Brazilian opal. I love it, I made it for my girlfriend's birthday. It's, I, I, call, I call it the Save by the Bell opal because it's got the Save by the Bell colors and those Olympic colors you see right there. And there they are compared to each other. And you can just see the, the synthetic opal is just kind of missing the, the depth and complexity of the real opal. But I'm just gonna let you form an opinion. I'm not gonna say anything about how the complexity 
and the depth of the actual opal is so much great. So anyway, we're gonna take a look in the microscope. Here we go. Whoa, what the? What, what, I can't. We're gonna, shh, shh. Nope, I can't. Shh. Computer broken. Shh. I don't know what's going on. Shh. <sighs> Sorry, I uh, seems like I lost control of the video there for a second. That's so funny. But, uh, that was great. Got everything back together here. Let's take a look in the microscope now and uh, see what we see. Uh oh, I think there's a little residual weirdness left from the uh, the strange phenomena that just happened to the video. Anyway, this is the uh, synthetic opal. You can see it's very flaky. It's made of like a lot of little flakes. And then this is the real opal. I like that cat in the background. That's Felix. That's my cat. The real opal has a lot more depth than you can see. And it's completely unpredictable how the pattern is. You just don't know what's going to happen with that pattern. There's some more footage. It's kind of not the best footage with this digital microscope. Take a look, you know, fast forward if you're done with this part. This is it. It's just the comparison. Anyway, I also wanted to talk about some of these shops that sell fake opal. It's kind of a weird thing, but it seems really popular for a lot of these synthetic opal sellers to make it really hard to find out that it's synthetic opal. So you can see here, you know, you type in opal and you'll, you'll immediately see tons of fake opal rings. And of course it says opal in the title. You go down to details, it says the gemstone is opal. But if you click description, and then you, you search around a little bit. Lab, central lab fire opal. That's your giveaway, that's it right there, lab. That's how you know the opal is synthetic. Uh, and then they go on to talk about opal, which I find to be kind of interesting. They start talking about opal and some of its, uh, you know, more spiritual properties. But it's not opal, it's synthetic opal, so I just, I don't, I don't really get it. Anyways, also be sure to check out the Daisy Opal store. I have tons of new stuff on there, tons of great products. And uh, I'll be adding new stuff all the time. Rings. We're going to have custom rings uh, soon. A nice little custom ring making system where you can kind of choose your stone, choose your size. And uh, of course, I got more cutting videos on the way. And a Daisy Opal TikTok is coming. So stay tuned. Peace.